So here we are inside my somewhat messy, actually really messy in the back seats Nissan Leafs. Got some more T10 LEDs here, and guess what we're doing today? Yeah. So, as many of you have guessed, it's going to be the front dome lights. And for me in particular, I have a nasty habit of leaving them on all the time. Like, I'll go to work, come in and come back at like 2 a.m. after getting off my shift and realize that this light is still on. On the bright side, unlike a gas car, it's never had me stranded. That's a pretty awesome. But, I'd like an LED bulb. Again, there's no real need for me to swap these out, it's just the fact that I want to. And LEDs are awesome. So, what you'll notice right here is there's no, actually no screws or anything that are holding this in. And I tried to figure it out, I couldn't. I thought you gotta pry up somewhere, and with me, when you gotta, usually gotta pry something, I usually break it. So I actually busted out. Da -da -da -da! The Nissan Owner's Manual. Or, the Leaf Owner's Manual. And here, somewhere here. Now oh, this is a piece of the tail lights. What's that? Right here. You can see, you're supposed to have a, a flathead screwdriver. And a rag. And just use that to pop it open. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping I don't break something. And in case if you break something, remember, this isn't how I'm telling you to do it. This is how I'm doing it. It's not an instructional video. I'm just showing you how I did it. So what I'm going to do is I'll put that right there. Presumably just not to scratch anything. Oh, shit. Presumably not to scratch anything, so let's figure out how to do this while filming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this screw, this flathead screwdriver, so cover it in a white towel into this light right here, or into the edge of this light right here. Pry it out and see if I can flip out the T10 LED. See if I can do it while recording. This is actually kind of nerve wracking. I'm like scared of shit to break my car. Okay, so I'm seeing two retaining clips on the side right here. I think those gotta come out too. So let's see if I can pop that in gently. Oh shit. Crap, that was a scary experience. I hope I got that big camera. Okay, so after a lot of like nerve-wracking prying stuff out, I got this little plastic cover off. And you gotta carefully watch out right here, because there's four little clips. That's what's gotta come off to get this thing out. Man, why couldn't they just use screws or something? Like seriously. Well, Next step, I'm gonna pop in one of these little LED bulbs. Make sure the dimming effect and everything works properly. Make sure the light switch works, and then I'm gonna do it. Let's do this. So as always, pull out original, original T10 bulb. Put in not so original LED bulb. Test diode side. Open door. Why do you go off? Ah, oh, 
Oh, don't tell me this is a dud book. So from what I can tell, this LED doesn't dim. Like this thing, it doesn't blow up this. My question is, which one is bright? I don't know which one's brighter. Oh, it does dip. Okay. So there's it on high, low, low. Okay, that works out for me. Yeah, the LED is definitely brighter. Sweet. On to the other side. So apparently the, the key to pulling this thing off is not being scared of breaking it. Even though it feels like you're going to. Okay, so now I've Install the two LED bulbs up here. Everything works correctly. That comes on brighter. That comes on not so brighter. But I have damaged this whole thing in this whole endeavor. Okay, so there's a mark right there from the screwdriver. Another mark right there from the screwdriver. And what you'll notice is when I push it on the corner here, it comes on no problem, right? This side, I think I damaged all the clips because if I push on the corner right there, this just comes out. Right there, works fine. Right there, works fine. Pop on the corner, works fine. Pop on this corner, nope. Pop on that corner, nope. That corner, yes. So maybe one day I'll get a replacement for that. But right now I'm pretty happy with this. Well, I'm not exactly happy that I messed up my car, but meh. It's a tiny little thing. So I can probably get like the heat gun forward back into place. That or I might make it even worse, so who knows. Again, if you want to damage your car like me, put LEDs, go for it! I'm still happy you did it. Here's a night clip of the lights, just to, for a quick comparison. So these right here are the LED dome light, or the map lights are installed in the front. You can see the light is nice and clean and no yellowing at all. Then you pan back, you see the light back here. Now you can't really tell in the video, but it is 100% sure that these map lights are a lot brighter. And as for that damage that I mentioned earlier, you, I've been driving with these lights for a few weeks now and you really just don't even notice them. But take my advice, when you replace these lights, use a much smaller screwdriver, like the smallest screwdriver you could find to get these lights out and cover with cloth. That was my mistake, I used a general screwdriver and that caused the marks. But again, it's much brighter if you compare it side by side, just like that. Not to mention it uses less power, so when I leave it on all day and I forget to turn it off, it's not that big a deal. I like it. I will be swapping out uh, the center dome light and the cargo light out to LED as well. No, uh, they use a different kind of bulb, so I'm still waiting for them to get in. But overall, uh, oh, and I will be posting a video of that. But I'm I'm happy with this. Maybe one of my favorite mods I've done so far. If you can call it a mod. <laughs> so just switch that back to door. Switch that back to door. Head inside.